Typically, many of us probably think of dangerous parts of the world as having large numbers of venomous snakes or frequent tsunamis. But there are an array of factors that can make an area particularly dangerous. From terrorism to weather events and everything in between. Today, we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous places in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number. It's in Death Valley, California, along the state border that separates California and Nevada. In an area known as the Great Basin exists Death Valley. Death Valley is recognized as one of the hottest places in the world. And just how hot is it actually? Well, on July 10th, 1913, the United Weather Bureau recorded a temperature of 56.7 degrees Celsius, or about 134 degrees Fahrenheit. To this day, the temperatures recorded in 1913 remains the highest ambient air temperature ever recorded at the surface of the Earth. Surprisingly, while the temperatures during the daytime is shockingly high, they can plummet overnight, reaching a low of negative 10 degrees Celsius. Well, negative 10 might not sound so cold. Anyone unlucky enough to find themselves lost overnight will most likely be ill-prepared. So let's assume that the temperatures don't get you first. Death Valley is also prone to severe storms that can produce massive amounts of lightning and severe flooding. For instance, on October 18, 2015, almost the entire desert floor was enveloped in water after a torrential downpour. Not only does the erratic weather present challenges for wildlife, but the area is infamous for mysterious disappearances and hikers who have met grim ends in the harsh desert. Number 9. Fraser Island, Australia. Fraser Island is the world's largest sand island, and at first glance it looks like a pure utopia of white sand and crystal clear waters. But instead, it is a concentration of everything that is Australia. That is death and horrifying things like that. Creatures to located 250 kilometers from the capital city of Brisbane, Fraser Island, is home to just 182 people, and it's only about 123 kilometers wide. And the creatures that live upon it have given it a reputation as one of the world's most dangerous islands. In addition to its stunning beaches, Fraser Island is also covered in an array of plant life, including rainforests, eucalyptus, woodland, mangrove forests, volum input, swamps, sand dunes, and coastal heats. But it is what lives among the foliage that has led to the island reputation. The island is home to 18 different varieties of snakes, six of which are considered highly dangerous, and one of which is the eastern brown snake, also known as the second most venomous snake known to man. You can also find numerous deadly spiders, and over 300 varieties of ants there. If the creepy crawlies weren't enough to keep you off the island, it was also home to the last known population of pure dingoes. Unfortunately, after they attacked and killed a young boy in April 2001, major effort was undertaken to eradicate them and to prevent them from feeding young local trash cans. Fortunately, this led to a population of around 200 dingoes who are malnourished and even more aggressive than previous generations. And if you happen to escape all the dangers that are directly on the island, the waters around it are no safer. The area is a haven for venomous jellyfish, along with multiple types of sharks, including the Great White. Oh, and also on top of the Great White, there's also the Bull and Tiger Shark which are potentially more deadly to humans, because they are known man-eaters who like our flesh. Oh, and also just the top of this little soiree of danger. The saltwater crocodiles here too, so. Oh, have fun. Number 8. Lake Neos, Cameroon. This deep lake is positioned directly on the flank of an active volcano which presents a unique set of hazards. Located in northwest Cameroon, Lake Neos, is one of only three known exploding lakes, and it is easily the deadliest. Okay, so probably the question on everybody's mind, what is an exploding lake? This is where things get a bit scientific. Lake Niels is located directly on top of a pocket, 
of magma, which slowly leaks carbon dioxide into the water changed the symbol H2O into carbonic acid. And then, as it sits, this carbonic acid isn't horribly dangerous as long as you avoid the water. The bigger issue occurs when too much carbon dioxide builds up under certain water. This is when the carbonic acid lake becomes a full-blown exploding lake. During what is known as limnic eruption, carbon dioxide bursts out from below the water and forms a deadly cloud. Because the gas is heavier than air, it pushes oxygen away from any area it envelops. This catastrophe took place on a massive scale in 1986, when the Lake Neos released a massive CO2 cloud which claimed the lives of 1,746 people and 3,500 lives livestock in the surrounding towns and villages. In an effort to prevent this disaster from repeating itself, a series of venting duties were installed in 2001, with upgrades to the system in 2011. But these measures don't necessarily mean that nearby villages are entirely safe. One of the natural walls of Lake Nias is growing weaker, and experts fear that the levee may give way. This happened. The lake, full of carbonic acid, will flow downstream into villages, and even as far as Nigeria, releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide along the way. Number 7. Burkina Faso. So far, the majority of our injuries are focused on places that are under constant threat from nature. However, our number 7 entry is a little bit different. Burkina Faso is a French-speaking country in West Africa. Unfortunately, the area has been plagued by years of conflict and violence. And today, a largely corrupt government struggles to hold off. Rampant terrorist assaults that constantly threatened all those who live in the area. Unfortunately, these attacks tend to be motivated more by greed than political ideology, and rarer. Probably don't want to risk a visit to Burkina Faso anytime soon. If the constant threat of violence didn't make life hard enough for the locals. The country suffers from perilously low health and education funding, and according to the In Development Program, report to Burkina Faso as the lowest level of literacy in the world. Number 6. Karachi, Pakistan. Another country which has suffered its fair share of terrorism and political unrest. Pakistan often appears on list of travel advisories. But perhaps the most dangerous spot in the country is Karachi. This is according to the new MBO Crime Index released in 2014. Technology was the sixth most dangerous city in the world. During just one year in the mid-90s, over 1,700 people were slaughtered in a 365-day period. Are alarmingly, though the highest number of peroxides killed in either acts of terror or crime was in 2013, when that number reached 3,251 total victims. Due to the prevalence of kidnapping assassinations, suicide bombings and gang warfare, tourists are strongly urged to avoid Karachi. Number 5. Acapulco. Mexico not so long ago, Acapulco was an ominous with lavish vacations and high-end resorts. But the reality these days can be a bit different. The city wasn't one of Mexico's oldest beach resorts, and from the 1940s to the 60s, it was a hotspot for Hollywood stars and millionaires alike. But starting in 2014, the once glitzy destination became an epicenter for gang violence, extortion, and murder. In fact, by 2016, Acapulco has one of the highest murder rates in the entire world. The problem has reached such proportion that the city's entire police force was disarmed by the military in 2018, after it was discovered that it had been corrupted and infiltrated by drug gangs. Once a popular destination for spring break, the government began enacting travel advisories as early as 2009 after fighting erupted between drug cartels and the government. These battles often took place in the streets and involved grenades and other high-caliber weaponry. And since then, very little has improved. However, I suppose there is a silver lining. Other destinations, such as Cancun and Cabo San Lucas, have taken Acapulco's reputation as a tourist destination instead.
Number 4. Sona'a Yemen So now is the capital of Yemen and holds the distinction of being the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world. It's also the highest capital city in the world, wrestling at an astounding 7,500 feet above sea level. Sinal was established so long ago that its origin is pretty much a matter of legend now. But many believe it was founded around the 1st or 2nd century BC, its antiquity means it is the site of many stunning historic buildings, including the Great Mosque of Cinema, which was constructed in 630 AD and continues to be used today. Unfortunately, cinema is viewed by many as being a pure and utter war zone. And it pretty much is, actually. Living in the area means being subjected to frequent and unpredictable. I just butchered, which roughly translates to landing prohibitive. The reason why this island is off limits to human beings, because it is home to one thousands of uniquely adapted and highly venomous snakes. Most notably, the world's only population of golden lancehead vipers. These incredibly rare snakes are one of the most venomous species on the planet. But fortunately, their only habitat exists where humans are strictly forbidden. Have you ever traveled to any of the designations on today's list? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that is all I have for you today, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.